on YouTube. This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back in with another video. And today, guys, it's going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh video. We're going to rip the new Yu-Gi-Oh set, The Infinite Forbidden. Let's go. What is going on, Hilltop TCG family? Guys, that's right. Today we have two booster boxes, not one, of the Infinite Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh! set. Brand new, came out just a day or two ago, um, and I haven't done a Yu-Gi-Oh! video in a while. Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of my favorite set, I guess, TCG to open, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is my boy. So I'm doing a video for myself. Hopefully some of you guys like it. Hopefully some people are coming in from the Yu-Gi-Oh! side. Hopefully on the Pokemon side, you guys enjoy this. But Yu-Gi-Oh! Love, love, love Yu-Gi-Oh! and Exodia is my boy. So we got to rip this set because there is an Exodia card in it, you guys. So first thing I want to do on this product is take a look at the market and the sets because there's kind of a lot to say about Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, it's, it's honestly struggled. Like getting product in, I haven't made any Yu-Gi-Oh! probably this, any money on Yu-Gi-Oh! this year selling it in shop and stuff like that just because there's so much of it out there I don't think there's been crazy amounts of popularity for sets, and so shops have to offload on TCG Player for basically cost. Um, this set's a little different. Um, it's kind of along the Blue Eyes, the 25th anniversary range of things where the Blue Eyes boxes actually made money. Um, so this is the set list. We're going to go down here real quick to the price of the Yu-Gi-Oh boxes of the Forbidden um, Booster. So 80 bucks Cost on these, I'm going to be transparent with you guys, is around 55 bucks. So, right there, after fees and shipping, shops are still making maybe around $10, 10 to $15 on this product, which is actually really good, um, which is refreshing to see. So, that's one thing I wanted to highlight here as well. So, we're up here at the top. These boxes do have the quarter century rares. I think they're about one in every four boxes, so I have two to rip today. Hopefully, we can get lucky enough to see one quarter century rare. We got the big $250 bill right here, the Fiend Smith Engraver. Quarter century rare, super gorgeous here. Um, and then my big chase card down here is the Unstoppable Exodia Incarnate. If we can get a quarter century rare in this, it's only a $40 card, I'll be ecstatic. I'm sure there's an ultra rare or secret rare of this card as well. Hopefully we can hit that today. That's my goal in this video. But this bad boy, the Exodia, the Unstoppable Exodia Incarnate. Absolutely gorgeous card. Let's hope to hit it, you guys. So. Let's get on to these beautiful boxes. And um, I mean, the wrapping on these, I'd give it like a D. Like the wrapping, come on, Konami. Like it's super loose, not tight at all. Like, and I don't, I don't like it. But the box art, gorgeous. Um, the good old reflective background, pretty solid there. So let's get these open, take a look at the packs. And the other reason why I wanted to rip a Yu-Gi-Oh product is because, um, we're finally officially a Yu-Gi-Oh um, authorized play store uh, through Konami. So um, we finally had our shop get um, authorized through them. So that's kind of um, my big celebration. So we'll start doing more um, Yu-Gi-Oh events. We can get stuff earlier. We can sell stuff earlier. Um, so a big exciting thing for me as well to let you guys know about. But absolutely gorgeous packs. Anything with Yu-Gi-Oh on it, guys, I am just going to be absolutely ecstatic about so let's get 24 packs in these. That's, I, I wonder why 24. Magic's got 30. Um, Pokemon's got 36. Like why? Why Why 24, Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, I don't know. I, I, maybe someone knows, leave a comment, let me know. Maybe they're just trying to be a little different. Empty boxes there. But, um, so from what I understand, there should be nine cards per pack and then there should be at least a foil in every single pack. So let's get into our first one. I'm not gonna read off all the names. Um, we'll kind of just maybe get to right to the hollow. I'll just kind of spill through like this. And then we got that uh, Madolchi Queen right there. So we got our foil and there you go. So looking for my Exodia boy. There should be, um, like I said at the start of this video, quarter century rares are in this set absolutely gorgeous there um and it should be every four booster boxes i think on average to get a quarter century rare so we're ripping two boxes here hopefully we can get lucky enough um to see 
one quarter century rare in either one of these boxes. That would be super duper cool. Um, I don't know the ratio. Typically, I can't recall on the ultra rares and secret rares. I think typically, if I remember right, there's three ultra rares and maybe two secret rares is going to be my guess. So there's our first ultra rare right there. The the my goal master. I love that little skeleton dude like chilling looks like on his throne absolutely love that so that's our first you are super sweet there ultra rare so we'll see if i was right on my assumption again guys anybody coming here from the Yu-Gi-Oh side wanting to hear some knowledge about a lot of these cards not a lot of knowledge um on the newer stuff i am a big exodia fan like i said love to see these cards love the art of these cards um, I probably genuinely, after these videos, I sit down and like look up a lot of these cards, read the attacks and do all that stuff kind of myself because again, it is, was my, was kind of my passion growing up as a kid is I, I was more of a, a Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh fan, went and played at events and did all those things. Ooh, we got a Seeker Rare, Ast Astler of the White Forest. Let's go. Okay, Seeker Rare on that one pretty awesome so maybe there's only one secret rare i think there should be two who knows again if you guys are coming here from frequent Yu-Gi-Oh videos and wanted to check out some some rips then you know enjoy enjoy the cards as i'm going through them but my knowledge is <laughs> not at all what it should be i do enjoy it though i definitely rip and magic is rip and magic's my hardest thing is because like even with Yu-Gi-Oh, you can tell what are what are good cards right like the quarter century rares are like obviously dope there's some decent value a lot of times in the ultra rares and secret rares most of the time the values in the secret rares but a lot of the commons and commons and foils they're just printed so heavily that there isn't um much value in those but with magic man like you really you really got to know know the sets know the playing dynamic because it's not about big, shiny, beautiful cards most of the time. That is shiny and beautiful, though. It's about the playability. So there's a lot of a lot of cards that have some good value that um, are kind of kind of hiding, right? They're just a normal looking card um, and have a ton of value in them. Their magic has been kind of pivoting to the point where they have like numbered cards um, in some cases. Um, they have definitely like specialty arts and like the collector boosters and things like that to make the cards a little bit more valuable. Um, but that's why I like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, it's very apparent. Very apparent when you have a cool card. When you get a big hit, it is, there's no, there's no real questioning like you got something crazy. So if we hit a gorgeous quarter century rare in one of these boxes, you will absolutely know it, and I will see it before I even get to the hit because even the border, the borders are raised, they stand out, they have foiling on them. Um, it's definitely really, really gorgeous. So we have three ultra rares and one secret rare. I'm, I'm going to be strong and still safely assume that we're getting another secret rare. That's going to be my guess. I would assume... The quarter century rare maybe takes the slot of an ultra rare. That is a secret rare right there. We got the rabbit, the sil, who the sil sil silhouette sil sil who hatter sil who hatter on the secret rare. So that should probably be it. We have four packs left. I think I guessed right. Maybe we'll get surprised with something else, but. I would assume probably five hits are gonna be the the hits, and if we hit a quarter century rare, it would have taken the spot of one of those hits. Maybe I'll be ex surprised. Ex Exod fires of rage. There's our little first bl glimpse of Exodia. I'll put him down here because I need to put the I need to put the Exodia vibes out here. We need to get the Exodia vibes out here because I want to hit hey, hey, hey okay there's a good surprise dark magician the magician of the black magic so I'm a big dark magician fan so that's cool to have in there as well so there's another ultra rare so we got four ultra rares and two secret rares so that's good to know okay 
So there we go. We'll put those up there. And we'll put this guy right there. And let's get rid of all of these hollows. Foil. Foil is probably the better better term for Yu-Gi-Oh. We'll put him right here. Come on, Exod. Exod. Exod, Fire of Rage. Come on. Put out the vibes for... Hey, there we go. <laughs> you put the vibes out there and you get a dupe. Put it out there. Let's see if we can get a quarter century rare. I mean, I'm just hunting for that that Exodia. The the infinite. Hey, the Ez Elzet of the White Forest. Okay. So that's a gorgeous secret rare. Absolutely gorgeous secret rare. Okay. So there's our first one. I would I would assume that the quarter century rare would probably take the place of a you are. I wouldn't I wouldn't think it would take the place of a secret rare. Only one way to find out, and hopefully we hit one. But that's a great start of a the white for the white forest ones, I feel like are usually pretty valuable. You'll see values of these ones up on screen. Um I'll make sure I put values in there. Seems like there's a good little database on TCG player already for these. If if it's worth like pennies then maybe not, but most of the ultra rares and secret rares have a little bit of value, um, but it's really the quarter century rares that make these boxes worth opening. You're not gonna, you're not gonna make money opening up a Yu-Gi-Oh box, typically from the modern era, unless you hit a quarter century rare. There might be like one secret rare that's probably got some decent value, um, maybe a little handful. There's probably a bunch of cards that are worth probably three or four bucks. Um, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna get back. Well, these these boxes cost 80 bucks, and you're not gonna probably get your value back, typically, um, unless you hit that quarter century rare. So, let's see if we can be lucky enough to do it. We're probably pushing halfway done on these. We only have two hits: an ultra rare and a secret rare. Getting all the foils. I bet you there's probably some playability on some of the foils there's usually a list on tcg player on like the price charting but that one hadn't been updated yet so i didn't get it so i, I didn't pull that one up to show you guys but that's a really good helpful tool to reference and utilize um as you're going through and seeing values on cards that you're opening up you can filter for commons uncommons you can filter for just the foils and see if there's anything of decent value so pretty solid hits so far guys hey we got the uh mal 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 dolce mal dolce queen on the reverse that's one thing about Yu-Gi-Oh that gets me man is watching a few of these videos a lot of times I'll, I'll still be pretty engaged on some youtube videos um and man they spit out the names because dominus purge on our final secret rare pretty sick there um and they spit out the names like it's nothing and obviously pokemon i'm pretty in tune with so i pretty familiar with a lot of the the newer names and names and things like that but man there's like a lot these names are always historically very hard for me to to sit down while i'm live with you guys and and pronounce it correctly the hair the hair here hertical phobos coves yep tough 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 to pronounce a lot of these kind of kind of laughable hopefully you guys are still enjoying this video Hopefully we can end on some type of absolutely awesome quarter century rare. Nothing so far. We should see probably one more. Should have one more ultra rare. One more ultra rare. Can we be lucky enough to hit a um, quarter century rare for our last ultra rare? Let's see. And it might be might it might take in the secret rare spot. So. There's always that's a ten is always in this spot every single time, kind of kind of maps on that one. Interesting. It might definitely have taken the seeker spot. I don't know. I haven't ripped this product or Yu-Gi-Oh in general enough to know um, where the quarter century rares fall. But all I can have is a little bit of hope for our last three packs. We should still see an ultra rare based on the first box and Yu-Gi-Oh is pretty strict on their ratios they give you. So let's see if we can do it. Come on, baby. And hey, we got it. The last ultra. This makes this rip 
100% worth it. I don't know if it's worth much at all. I mean, the quarter century rare was worth like 40 bucks, so maybe this is worth a few bu few dollars. But there we go, guys. The Unstoppable Exodia um, Incarnate. That is so gorgeous. Question mark on the attack. Defense is zero. Five Forbidden One Monster cannot be destroyed by an opponent card effect. Once per turn, if this card battles during damage... Once per turn, if this card battles... During damage calculation, you can make this card gain attack equal to your life points. Once per turn, when a spell trap card effect is activated, quick effect, you can negate that activation. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can set one exod or obliterate spell trap from your deck. Once per turn, during the standby phase, we lose a thousand life points. Interesting. So you basically, the attack on that bad boy is based on your life points. Okay. <gasps> no shot. Last pack magic. We got lucky enough with a quarter century. I thought we were done. So they add in an extra one. Isn't that the most expensive one? No shot. I'm going back. Oh, it's not. I I, th I thought it was. Where are we at here? Where are we at here? Um, Ellis the Forest. Seventy dollars. Let's go. I had to. I had to go look. Oh my goodness. Okay, seventy dollar card on our last pack, guys. Look at these. Look at the difference in. I have the other one. So this is. That's cool that they don't take the spot of it. So this is normal secret rare, normal, and then look at that quarter century rare action. That is insane. How lucky. We couldn't have done much better. We got a quarter century rare and we got the ultra rare that I wanted. Wow, guys. For all the Pokemon fans that came and watched this video, thank you. For all the Yu-Gi-Oh! people checking out the set, hopefully you enjoyed the content. I, I got everything I wanted out of this video. Gotta do some videos for me every once in a while. But if you guys made it to the end of this video, you are an absolute legend. Have a great night, weekend, whatever's for you. Peace.